Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to episode 2 of Calamity Mod! So, we did a little poll in the last episode about whether we should rock with Revengeance or not. Well, looking at the statistics, apparently 83% of you voted that you hate me. We're doing Revengeance. <laughs> I actually can't wait. To be honest, I like a challenge. Calamity's not fun without a challenge, so... Let's give it a go. I mean, Revengeance is fine. As long as we're not doing death, I think all of the strands on my head, uh, they will be fine. So, we need to consume this. So, if you didn't watch episode one, to give you a quick recap, this makes things a little bit harder, and it also enables rage and adrenaline. And these are two things that build up over time. You use them, and they give you insane damage uh, for a little burst of time. It's, it's a really fun mode, and I think you guys will figure it out as we go through the series, because vanilla bosses, you know, are going to change. And we had so many people on the first episode say, hey, this is the first series I've watched. I don't know these references about washing machines. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in for a wild ride if you've never watched a modern series. Begin. So we've got rage and adrenaline. Now, step number one is going to be changing my controls. I hope I hope this doesn't break it because back in the day, this used to break it right. That's that. Oh, it's already set up. Oh, man. That's set up from donkeys ago, essentially. Because what I do is I assign my rage and my adrenaline onto different parts of my mouse. So if I take a little bit of damage... Uh, there we go. Uh, we'll take some more. The rage one builds up. So I'm starting today's episode off by going underground. All right, I'm fine with that amount of rage. We're going underground because it's my goal to actually start farming for uh, for new items and stuff. Because you know, yesterday we left off and we died near that life crystal. So it's my goal to go and get it and and carry on, which I think will be fine. I think I made a, a pretty clear path back. No interesting stories though today. All I've actually done is I've driven quite far today. I went uh, shopping essentially because shout out to my uh, my partner. Although everybody, every time I say partner, nobody knows what I mean. Shout out to my girlfriend because she actually recently got um, given her, her first job essentially. I mean, so, so she's just finished a degree and she's got a job. And, uh, and so we have to go for a long shopping trip, essentially getting all of our items for that. So all I've done is drive and eat cookies because there's a thing in Britain called Millie's Cookies. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. If you've been in Britain, I'm pretty sure you have. Essentially, it's like a place that only sells cookies and they are like amazing. They're really, really good. Like they sell these ones that everybody gets on their birthday, which is like a big, massive cookie cake. And I'm not even like this big cookie guy, right? I don't want people associating me with cookies, all right? But, um... Oh, that's all I've eaten because we don't have one where I live. I have to, to drive every time I want one. And ah, oh. so that's my only interesting story. I'm meant to be uh, getting healthy, getting fit, and it's not going well. <laughs> Who can relate, right? Who can relate? All right, that's that life crystal from yesterday. So moving down, I guess. I mean, yesterday I had that Splunk potion. Everything was fine and dandy. But I don't have it today, so it's going to be like back to like classic spelunking. I felt like the uh, the starter kit that we got yesterday like really gave us such a strong start because it allowed us to like you know I, I was allowed to like go and look for chests and I've got this first first heart crystal because of it. But now I'm like kind of like what day one should have been. I'm back to being like a scrub essentially. So I think one of the things I'm going to have to do is start mining all of these gems because. One, I left a diamond yesterday, and I can't remember where it was, but you guys let me know. Um, but two, I need to get him because I keep thinking that I have a grapple hook. And this is always the problem. When you play modded all of the time, you, you kind of feel like you're Superman, essentially. Or Spider-Man, or, you know, any other kind of superhero you want to uh, align with. Maybe it's Iron Man. But you feel pretty good. You feel like a boss, right? But no. <laughs> no, when you start a new series, you are so weak. Like, I think I can make every jump possible, or every fall, like, I think I can survive it. So, um, so getting a grappling hook is, is definitely priority number one. It'd be cool if they actually gave you a grappling hook. I think that would be a little bit overpowered, but as part of that starting kit, if you get like a, a weak grappling hook, like maybe like mod a weaker one than the grappling hook. I don't know. Maybe that's overpowered. That's that's for the Calamity team to decide. And let's be honest, the Calamity team don't let you hold, uh, hold hands for very long. Let's just say that. They want it to get super difficult. Okay, we have found a natural chest. This is actually really cool. I don't think I've had an ice biome where it's got like the actual ice biome background and then it's got background wall. I just, I don't know. Like, I just think that looks kind of like 
I don't know, it looks nice. Makes me excited for uh, 1.3.6 though, for sure. But uh, just to let you know, if that comes out and we're still filming this, I'm gonna carry on with this. I'll just do a, I'll do an updated series on Chippy Gaming and I'll, uh, I'll push on with this. All right, ice skates. All right, I'm happy with that. I'll also take this and I'll leave that. Huh, okay, so we've got a bunch of uh, lead here. I am gonna grab this because I do think I probably need a little bit of it, you know, just a little bit. But other than eating cookies and driving, not really been doing much. But my whole getting healthy thing, what I've been trying to do is to run every day. Like, every day I have to run. And I've been trying to run a couple of miles every day, and it's been going well. Like, I finish my recordings, I go for a run. I get up in the morning, I go for a run. So I've been I've been doing well with it. I've been doing well with it. I, uh, I said in a series in January that, you know, I'm, I'm going to get all uh, healthy and join the gym. And it, and it worked for a very long time. And then I fell off a skateboard at 15 miles an hour, and uh, and everything slowed down. Essentially, I think I uh, <laughs> I gave myself a bit too much time off, but it's, it's been it's been getting back on track. All right, bat, you need to get out of here. These bats will like absolutely shred through you, especially because we're in um, Revengeance now. Although, isn't like the start of Revengeance is easier, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh no, no, no. If there's any enemy in this game that kills me, it's always those little slimes that shoot stuff. You get the jungle ones as well. Oh, I've got hyperthermia or whatever. Huh, not good. Yeah, those little slimes, I hate them. I truly do hate them. Like, I'm so bad at killing them. I'm going to try and build around myself real quick. I don't want to get killed by Oat, but I also want these gems, these amethysts. So I'm going to... I'm just going to grab these. So i tell you what, I'm kind of excited for this. Hopefully, you know, you guys will still love me for talking about this, but, um, Fortnite, <laughs> instant dislike. Fortnite Season 6 came out today, and I'm pretty pumped, because after I finish, um, well, after I finish having fun in this, I'm gonna go have some fun with Season 6. I'm very excited. I've never had, like, when I was a kid, if I had a game that I enjoyed, right, and every once in a while they would just add a bunch of new stuff to it, I would be amazed, right? I mean, I've already kind of got that with Terraria, and I think that's amazing with Terraria, so to have a game that's free... That just updates every few weeks. Oh, I think it's amazing. Like, I wish that was around when I was younger. But like, I can see why, uh, why, like, kids and stuff, like, kids in school and that are obsessed with it, right? Maybe too obsessed. I think that's why everybody hates it, and I don't blame them. But, um, yeah, I can imagine me be totally, like, totally obsessed with it if I was younger. Like, now I just casually enjoy it. <laughs> but I could definitely become obsessed for sure. All right, I can't break ice with ice skates, right? You can, like, fall all you want on these. Is that right? Let's just double check. Yeah, okay. We'll head down. It'd be great if I got another Spelunker Potion, but I don't think that's going to happen. That was just part of my starting chest. But I think the goal for today is to explore, to find some stuff, bring you guys along. Um, and I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to rush towards any boss or anything like that. I'm going to keep it cash, nice and chill. Because things get harder and harder after you start killing bosses, I believe. So I think the longer we prolong it, probably the better for us. So I'm going to do some mining now, unless we, oh, oh, no, okay, out of there, out of there. I was going to say, unless we immediately find something amazing now, I might do some mining, and uh, and I'll bring you guys along in a second, because, you know, we could be here all day, you never know when the next uh, chest is going to come along, it's kind of like a, a it's like lottery, really. Ooh, but I, I, I have a strong feeling that we're going to get a lot down there, so I'm going to finish off mining this first. Ooh, nice. We have literally gone below the ice biome now, so, whoop. That means we are basically free of all of those slimes, which should be good. Okay, there's a bigger worm coming, but I should be alright. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Hmm, I don't know how much uh, stuff you can actually find near lava layer. Like, I don't know if it's that much. We shall see. Is that an ice slime or just a regular slime? Oh, that's a black slime, obviously, but I'm I thought I saw one kind of hop around over here. Oh, it's a snowflinks. I did wonder what it was. Okay... All right, get killed, Snowflinks. Cool, right. Oh, no, 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 okay. I can't, I can't, oh my god. It like, I was building and it kind of flooded me. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, that's fine. I was like, oh, this is it. This is the death. Yeah, I was like mining along and uh, and I kind of got flooded. I'm heading towards the, uh, to the... Wow. Wow. Yeah, classic James, classic James. All right, <laughs> all right. 
So it turns out I actually did have a Spelunker potion, so I'm gonna go down and do the same thing I was just doing and uh, and find stuff. So I get one comment very frequently that says, James, how do you zoom out that far? I'm not actually zooming out all that far. All I'm actually doing is playing in 1080p, zooming in for the video and then zooming out to 1080p for these shots. But because you spend so long watching me play like this, it feels really strange. So when I do this, it kind of seems like I'm like really zooming out using some kind of mod or anything. But uh, it's not. I've seen people ask me on Reddit and uh, and kind of all over the place. I just want to clear it up. So if anybody ever says it, now you know. But yeah, it's it's just it's just regular zoom. And I always do it when I need to uh, either find something or to concentrate in a boss fight because usually a boss fight is set up for this resolution because this is how most people play. But um, I really like to have it zoomed in because I know. Whoa, well, okay. The eighty percent of people watch on a mobile or tablet, so I like to keep it. All zoomed in so you can see. Okay, boring explanation out the way. I'm off to go mine and find stuff. No, 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 no. Oh my god, what did I say about these slimes? What did I say about them? I just knew it. Alright, I found this little uh this little house. And I found another diamond. Like, I don't think I've found diamonds this successfully since um Well, I'd say it's been a long time since I found diamonds like this. Okay, I'm also gonna grab those rubies as well. Nice. Right, this is all looking pretty dark, but I do love, I love the mystery of finding one of these houses. I don't know, I feel like you can play Terraria for years, but when you start a new adventure, like, finding these little caverns still feels exciting. Like, I don't know, I don't know how Terraria does it, but they do it, for sure. Man, these, these teleporting gems are kind of annoying. Right, grab these pots, and we'll go down below. What you got for us? Okay, a snowball cannon. Not bad. And we also got another Spelunk potion, which is really good, because obviously I lost mine when I died to that bloody slime. Alright, another heart crystal. I'm pretty pumped about that, so I'll snatch that up and take that. So we are now at 180 health, and there's a few more rubies, like one, two, three, four, five. I think ruby staff- Oh, Oh god. <laughs> I think the ruby staff might be what I get. Okay, I've got to make sure I don't die here, because there is a bat. And I know he's gunning for me. Once again, this all feeds into that, like, feeling of, uh, invincibility that you get. And it's fake invincibility. Okay, right. Let's, uh, grab these. So, yeah, I think a ruby staff, uh, a ruby, um, hook might be, uh, perfect for us. Right. Oh, that's... What are they? Are they actually rubies? I'm just gonna throw that up there. Okay, let's kill this ice bat off. Oh, it would have been great if it had actually gone into- Oh, it's Amethyst. It would have been great if it had gone into the dynamite, though. Huh, not one of these again. That's it. <laughs> slime against slime. Who will win? God, that would make a pretty good video, right? Who wins? A thousand slimes or a thousand slimes? I can see it now. <laughs> if I could make BuzzFeed Terrari videos, that's what I would do. <laughs> $10 slime versus thousand dollar slime. I think this one's thousand dollar because it's so rare. Right, I think those are rubies. So I may as well grab those. I mean, I've got six on me now and I feel like I've already got one at home. Like, one or two at home. But then again, I'm getting like a good like amount of gems. I really am. I feel like even if I don't get all of the gems that I need for, uh, for a hook, I might be able to actually make a staff out of uh, one or two of them. I'm just interested to see if these are rubies, though. Are they actually? Let's zoom out. Is there anything around us that's interesting? Nope. I always get confused with the colors of these. What are you? Okay, ruby. Nice. Ooh, a chest. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I hate these. Oh, God. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Is it following us? Of course it's following us. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's so much more around us. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Right, if I can... Oh, I know what I can do. Yes! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> That's some Bear grill stuff right there. You gotta use your environment, lads. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, so... It was all for a snowball cannon and more Spelunker potions. I think I think that was just worth it just to actually pull something off like that. 
Once again, let's zoom out. Anything interesting? Nope. All right, let's zoom in. Okay. Oh, I think things are going to get very interesting here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, will we find a chest or not? I don't know. Okay, we found a life crystal. But I might go back for that later. Or tomorrow, even. Because if we find something at the end of this, I think I'd rather explore that. Okay, I don't think there's anything of actual uh, use around here. Once again, let's take this spelunker. Okay, nothing of... Oh, wait, there is a chest. Oh, and a diamond crawler. I told you. What is it with me and diamonds today? No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, they do a lot of damage. It makes sense because they are made of diamonds. But they do a lot of damage. Okay. God, that was almost like killing a pinky. Four diamonds. Wow. All right. All this is is an enchanted boomerang and some more potions. But also, more importantly, we've also got some more gems. And there's a lot of emerald here. I tell you what, this uh, this map is like begging you to play as a mage. I don't know what class I'm going to play, by the way. I, my goal is to like just try a lot of stuff out. I'm not trying to uh, to like link into one thing. I know a lot of people want me to do summoner, and I think a summoner run would be very cool. But I, I would like to like I always I always want to do this, but I would like if I could like maybe do a summoner for one fight and then maybe do a melee for another. You know, so it gives us time to like actually test out some uh, some different kind of weapons rather than like locking ourselves in. So, yeah, I know that was one thing that a lot of people asked about. Okay, one alley up away, and we've got this little life crystal here. So, that now puts us at 200 life. Very nice. Right, so that is going to do it for today's episode. Before we actually round things off, though, I think it's very important that we actually go ahead and make that uh, that hook. Even though I've probably been saying staff and hook, and I'm getting it all the, the wrong way around. But uh, let's open this up. I've got... You know, it's a mess. I'm not going to explain this system, but let's see what I've actually got here. Have I got enough of either ore to get anything? No, <laughs> I haven't. All that work and I didn't get 15 of any of them. Right. Well, I think I know where a gem cave is. So I think tomorrow what we'll do, there's a gem cave like around here. So I think tomorrow that will be our goal. But thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I had a great time being with you. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of the Calamity Mod. Peace.